How's it going? Welcome back to Build a Fish. I'm Jeff with Batson Enterprises, and today we're going to be laying out the guides on the rod blank. Uh, this is the same build that we've been using in previous videos, and uh, we have our tip top installed, handle installed. Now it's ready uh, to lay the guides out. So, as you can see, we have uh, some double foots here and some single foots here. Uh, they're laid out with these china marks. It's a china marker uh, somewhere around here, right there. And we made marks along the blank uh, according to the guide spacing on our rod blueprint. You can get these on rainshadowrodblanks.com. Guide spacing is already there for you. You just follow it. You measure from the installed tip top back according to the print and all the guide space is taken care, for, care of for you. Um, so we have a couple left here to install. We're going to do a double foot first. So it's nice to use some thinner tape. Fits on these guide feet. I always like to do the single leg first. When placing your guides, you always want to have the ring lined up with the china mark, okay? So not the tip of the guide foot. You want that ring centered where the mark is, whether it's a single or a double foot. So here I'm going to place my guide. I've got the piece of tape already on the foot. Kind of an easy way to get them started. So I'm going to get lined up. And we can always adjust later during the wrap. We're just trying to get them as close to center as we can eyeball here. And we're going to tape that there. Tape that there. And I personally like to kind of have the tape um, putting some tension on the foot that way because it pushes the toe into the rod blank, making the thread easier to ramp up later on. Okay, both sides. And you want to make sure that your tape is far enough above the toe so you can get a, enough wraps on there to keep it on there when the tape comes off. Looks pretty good. You can adjust it a little bit. Like I said, you can always adjust again more. So that's our double foot. As you can see, this one's been installed. So is this one. Sometimes you get, with these double foot, you get the one side that's so small, you can only tape one side of it down. Uh, makes the wrapping a little bit more tedious. Just slow down, no big deal. So we get up here, we got our double feet on, and then we transition to our single foot guides. Single feet, very similar to the double foot. Just want to be a little bit more careful where you place the tape and how that tape is tensioning the guide foot to the blank. And this is quarter inch tape. If you need to go even smaller, you can always cut your tape thinner when it's still on the tape roll. And these Alps guides, they grind them so well that you usually don't need to prep them at all, even with size A thread. As you can see, that's, that's right on the blank. It's ground, like I said, it's ground so fine that, especially with the smaller guides, you don't have to prep them at all. That thread's just going to go right up on that guide foot. That's how a single foot goes on there. Again, thread's going to be coming right on this guide, so I kind of pu pull my tape back a little bit this way just to keep it out of the way of that thread. Okay, so we're, we're laid out now. Our guides are, are on there. They're taped. We're ready to wrap. And I'm just doing a quick look over here. All these feet look really good. And then I say, okay, well, you know, maybe I want to prep this one. The bigger guides, sometimes you want to prep one of the feet. So your smaller thread, your size A thread, goes right up on there with no trouble at all. So let's just take this one off. We'll do a quick little piece here on prepping the guide foot. So yeah, I want to I want to shave that down so it's even even smaller than size A thread. And this one's pretty close already. I could probably wrap this one with size A, no problem. They prep these Alps feet so well. But let's say we do want to prep it a little bit. So what I like to do is set the file like so at an angle, and moving a great big file is never good. I always like to hold the guide and move the guide. So you get your angle right, you're looking at it just like sharpening a knife, and I'm looking at it and I'll kind of move it this way. 
Doesn't take a lot. We're just moving a little bit of material off of there. And that's all it took, really. So when you do that, a lot of the times you'll get a burr on the bottom side. And usually, one pass along the bottom takes that burr right off. And you can just run your finger along it so you don't feel any burr. Perfect. Nice and sharp. Should have no problem running the thread right up on that now. This thing's ready to wrap. That's, uh, that's how we lay out the guides here. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to keep following us on social media for more videos. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care.